episode two. Now, if you didn't see episode one, I got to tell you, the place is haunted. It really, there's a, a contraption called a TriCaster. And at the end of our last episode, uh, I was told that it was doing freaky things. And then our, 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 our co-hosts here were telling me that wherever they go, these freaky things happen. So I don't know what's going to happen in today's show, but expect the unexpected, because this is just frightfully brilliant. And we have Gomez. And we have Morticia. Oh, wait a minute. And? Clapping. Yes. And Aunt Tabitha. And right now, they are going to do some comedy. Let's join them, shall we? Oh, man. What's wrong, darling? You look exhausted. It's that story I was reading. Bedtime story for little Monday. She wouldn't stop crying over the ending. No matter what I tried, it just wouldn't work. What happened? Well, things were going so well. And then the blasted beast turned into a hideously handsome prince and she just wouldn't stop crying. It broke little Monday's black heart right in two. Oh, darling, I should have warned you not to read Beauty and the Beast to her. She never takes the ending well. <sighs> Aunt Tabitha, yes? you specialized in early childhood de development, didn't you? Yes, I did. Well, how do you think we as parents should handle such gruesome situations? Well, it's simple. Children need to be explained that fairy tales aren't about real people or real events. They're just like make-believe, like playing pretend. So assure Monday that in real life, beasts never, ever, ever turn into hideously handsome princes. So she has nothing to worry about. Oh, what a relief. Oh, that was frightfully brilliant. <laughs> What do we, what do we have here? Yeah. Well, they're, they're our friends as well. Well, Slappy is our roommate, and this is Chucky. He's our buddy. Oh, I'm going to turn it this way. You see these stitch marks? Look at this guy's face. Look at this. He this had an great. accident or two. Uh oh what happened? Well, you have to watch the Child's Play movies to find out. Oh. Chucky is from Child's Play, and Child's Play 2, and Child's Play 3, and Child's Play 4, and Child's Play 5, The Cult of Chucky, where it gets good again. Good grief, he is, girl. But you know, Slappy. I don't know which one. <laughs> Slappy is even more of a star. Oh, yeah. Because he has books about him. He's in movies. He's also in TV shows because he's Slappy of Goosebumps by R.L. Stein. Ah. So he is like the man. He, he's yeah. talking about how awesome he is. Yeah. And I have to point out that R.L. Stein sold 400 million books worldwide where Stephen King himself only sold 350 million. So R.L. Stein sold Oh more. my god. So he's gosh, saying R.L. Stein beat Stephen King and Slappy the man. Really? Yeah. yeah. No kidding. Yeah. So Stephen the King isn't the, the king. king after all. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to, wh which doll do you think is the scariest? Because Gomez has his opinion. Well, if you're talking to me, I'd say this one. Chucky? Yeah. All right, what do you think, yeah. Gomez? Why do you disagree with that? Because I know you already do. Yes, I mean... <laughs> You know I'm like a book, don't you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I do respect the opinion that Chucky is scary. I do respect his voodoo magic. I respect the fact that he looks like a brawler, that he has the... Well, he looks scary. Yeah. Maybe <laughs> that's the problem. Yes. Uh, there is also the fact that he is kind of smiling. And that gives me ah. the false hope that maybe he would be friendly towards me personally. Now, look at Slappy. Slappy is never smiling. Ah. Slappy looks focused. Uh -huh. I could see from Slappy that he would be plotting ahead. There is an element of mystery to him. You never know what he's going to do next, you know. So you're saying Tr Slappy's more sinister where Chucky's open. Yes, I think Chucky would be more, st uh, Chucky would be less strategic than Slappy, and for that reason, for me, Slappy is the scarier. Yes, but Chucky but. got the big knife. <laughs> <laughs> there is that. Well, there's that, isn't there? <laughs> 
He's oh telling goodness. you. This is I'm showing you guys Chucky animated. He came wow. from he's from Spirit Halloween or Spencer's. He's called a Chucky prop, but he is a Chucky doll. He's the best Chucky Hi, doll. I'm really? The best. You he's the first Chucky. Thing we got to do is get me out of this body once and for all. Boy, that's really awesome. Where, now, where did you say people could get that? Spirit Halloween or Spencer Gifts. You can order online. A true classic never goes out of style. <laughs> or, <laughs> I always come back. Oh, don't get ah. aggressive with Ooh. David. Put that knife away. You can tell that Slep is not impressed. And if you know what's good for you, you are going to love, honor, and obey. Ah, Slep is not impressed. He's always trying to talk. I'm, I'm Chucky, and I wouldn't talk if I were you. A true classic never goes out of style. See, Slappy's never impressed when Chucky's doing that. Slappy just goes, Why you, why you acting hard when you just a baby? And then Chucky finally be quiet. Yeah. So, you know, that's the whole thing. But Chucky moves, as you can see. I will say, if you're playing with him... Oh, he lost his knife. I just noticed that. I had him turned away from me because... Oh, yeah. Where's his knife? Oh, where'd his knife go, Gomez? Let's see him. See, I told you, something's happening all the time. Yeah. This. He has a giant knife normally, you guys. Here oh, it is. there it is. Here's his <laughs> knife. And what happens is when he's talking, his knife is waving, and I was holding up. The first time I got him, I nearly put my eye out with his Ooh, knife. Yeah. I'm like, oh, Lord. That's he has good. an edgy personality. He does. You but he's waving out. his knife while he talks. So if you buy one, sorry, Chucky. If you buy one, make sure that the knife is not near your face. Because if you're holding him where he's facing you and looking at you, the knife will wave and hit you in the eye. Yeah. And you don't want to have the knife hit you in the eye. No. But I almost put my eye out because I was holding him, and I thought he was far enough away because his face was, but his knife wasn't. So... Luckily, I did not mar myself with his knife. Yeah. But he's, to me, he's scarier because he's got this knife. And he so, used a rubber band to keep the knife in the Yeah, that's, that's what nice. comes with him. And then when he moves it, he doesn't drop it. So yeah, we'll let him yeah. talk one more time. Oh, dear. You're mine now, doll. Now sit back and learn from the master. All right, I put <laughs> it in his wrong hand. And for that's all right. We got the idea. Yes, you do. The first thing we got to do is get me out of this body once yeah. and there he goes. Now he's moving his head. So that's your favorite over here, right? Yes, we bonded. Yeah. Well, Slappy's my favorite, too, but I'm more afraid of Chucky, is the whole point. Yes, of point. course. Yeah. yeah, I would be too. He's, he's got that big knife. knife. Yeah, Slappy yeah. just enslaves children, if you haven't watched Goosebumps, and he wants to run the show and terrorize you, but he doesn't ever kill you. Oh, yeah, well, that, that, that's beneficial. <laughs> <laughs> And of course, as we said before in the other show, he defends us from other dolls, so... Yeah, so he's a good doll to have around. Yeah. yeah. Chucky is kind of sketchy. I, I mean, you know, sometimes. Now, I got this little hat for him at Walmart, and really? I put it on. He didn't come with this hat. No. He's got crazy hair, but he, I just wanted to give him so a cute you, little... So you got that in the baby stuff. Yeah, a baby. Now, Slappy can wear toddler clothes. You cannot change Chucky's clothes because of this bottom where he oh, sits. Yeah. This is the best Chucky doll. A lot of Chucky dolls do not sit nicely, and this is the best version. That's why he's called the Halloween prop, but he sits the best. So I recommend this Chucky above all others. And Slappy's clothes can be changed. He has a hard vinyl head and hands. The rest of him is soft, where Chucky's harder all over, except some padding on his body, and his face is a kind of softer rubber under something hard where he's uh, got, because he moves, you know, so you've got to have oh a little yeah, bit pliant. Oh, that's very nice. So, yeah, he's, he's well made. Yeah. But Slappy is, like, I think the more versatile. He can sit, stand, do all kinds of stuff. And if you uh, get Slappy at throwthings.com is the best price for him. He was only 50-some dollars there. Yeah. Throwthings.com. Throw because a lot of other places sell him, but it's a lot more expensive. So. Can't forget that website name. Nope. <laughs> Throwingthings.com. Yeah, throw things. <laughs> and I've looked around. I saw him, and he was over 100, 200 everywhere else. Oh, my. I'm like, I really want him, but I don't know about that price. So I found him there, yeah. and I was very happy. Yeah. Happy to have Sleppy. Now he's our roommate. He just doesn't pay his bills very well. But he protects us, keeps the house evened out, you know. Well, in your home, you must have all kinds of creatures and things <laughs> all around. Well, creatures, yes, yeah. but he doesn't really like other dolls around, no. so. creatures, yeah. Just Chucky. Chucky hangs out. Chucky's friends are an alien named Leroy. He's like a gray. Uh -huh. He's a big blow-up alien a friend gave what? me. He <laughs> hangs out with a gray alien named Leroy. Leroy Strange. Leroy. Yeah, he's one of those blow-up ones when you squeeze him, he's squeaky. Wait, wait. <laughs> and he's three feet tall. He's adorable. And he hangs out with Grumpy Dwarf from Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. You have Grumpy. Yeah, I have Grumpy. Of course I had to get Grumpy. I mean, you know. <laughs> and he's a plush dwarf. So him and Chucky and well, they're all like Leroy all hang out. Yeah, yeah. that's a little group of three. And Slappy's like, I'm not hanging out with those ruffians. So he just hangs out with us. <laughs> Don't you, Slappy? Well, yeah. naturally. <laughs> so he, he's not really social with other things in the house. 
He's above such things. But Slappy's made very well. Like I said, he's a cloth body. His shoes don't stay tied very well. Chucky's stay tied really well. They both got hard shoes, but Chucky's stay tied a lot better. I need to glue Slappy's shoes yeah, tied. Yeah, spot of glue. Now, they come on, um, Slappy's come with little rubber bands on them, so if you ever buy oh. Slappy, leave the rubber bands on his shoes, because if you think, you know, those are annoying, I'm taking it off, they won't stay on. The rubber bands actually hold the shoes on his feet, so... Oh, yeah, I do notice that. Yeah. yeah, they could have done a little bit better, but oh well. It was 50 some dollars. I'm not going to complain. I did not no. pay too yeah, exorbitantly much. Yeah. yeah, he's in a different outfit than he came in. He's in a costume that we got him for Halloween. He loves Halloween so much that he's still in his Halloween costume. He was he take easy it to fit? Yeah, a three year old toddler outfit. Really? And so, yeah, he's three feet tall, where Chucky, oh. they say Chucky is two feet tall, but really they're trying to measure him standing but, up. But he's always And he doesn't. Down. Yeah, that's the, when I say <laughs> they, I mean the site's advertising him. So. Yeah. Um, that's really incorrect, and that bugs me because I review really products. This high, going, not yeah. That high. yeah. So he can't really stand up. But Slappy is three feet, and he will and fit toddlers. Can. Yeah, he'll fit toddler clothes. If you want to get Chucky a hat, he needs a newborn infant hat, even though he's far from an infant. He's a scary thing. Yeah, you often carry him around with you. Slappy or Chucky? Yeah. Yeah, Slappy. He goes with us. He's fun. And Chucky goes sometimes. We took Chucky in Walmart and for Halloween. I wanted to sit him in the cart and have him look cute. Nobody oh. even noticed. I went to Nobody terrorize Nobody noticed? Everybody. I know. I Nobody? was like, no. He's too friendly, I'm telling you. I don't know. <laughs> oh, that's really good. And Tabitha did make us leave his knife in the car. She goes, they might freak out about the knife. So we left his, maybe it was <laughs> Chucky without the knife. Maybe he isn't as scary as Chucky with the knife. I don't know. Well, th they probably have toy knives over in the toy department, don't they? Or do they? I don't do, know. Do they, do they have toy guns and knives anymore probably in the toy department? I think so, yeah. yeah. Well, we yeah. take Slappy, and he gets a lot of attention. We took him in Wendy's today, and every, all really? the kids were like, oh, wow, well, the voodoo doll is scary. Wendy's. Wendy's. Yeah. Slappy got to traumatize children in Wendy's today. They called him the voodoo doll? Yeah, they did. But really? he doesn't mind, because as long as he's not called the D word, a nice girl came up and said, oh. I like your puppet. And I oh. said, good, puppet is okay. He doesn't mind that. <laughs> oh. He doesn't like the D word that means puppet. I almost said it. Don't say I almost it. Said, He'll get oh, you. Oh, you mean. Mm. <laughs> he will get you. Well, now let's see. There's the F word, and now there's the, the D, D word. word. For yeah. Slappy, there's yeah. the D word. <laughs> he doesn't mind the other. He just doesn't like the D word. <laughs> So he got attention in Wendy's. He was very happy. He got a lot more than we do. If we want to be noticed, we just take him. He is How did a you great dress nice when you went to Wendy's? Did you dress like this? We always yes. dress like this. Really? Yeah. We had this. I know. I'm not going to change are. clothes three Come times in a day. Come as in my t-shirt. That's right. <laughs> I like that. People after my own heart. I don't do the girly thing. People are like, what do you wear to the gym? This? Like, I'm yeah, not going to yep. change clothes again. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Yeah. And Slappy won't change. I couldn't even get him into his original clothes. He wouldn't do it. He said, I want to keep that outfit on. I go, okay, let's not take him off. Keep the outfit on. Well, I think that's wonderful. So you have your own trademark, your own way. You are what you are, and that's, who you, that, that's how you present yourself to the world. Yes, people like come that. up and say, yeah. it's not Halloween anymore. And we say, yes, it is. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with your calendar. It's Halloween 365. <laughs> 365. <laughs> yeah, you know, you, you ever go, look, just kind of watch kids coming out of high school, and um, you can always tell what group they belong to. They all dress the same. It's, it's, I, I like people who are individual. You know, they just have their own sense of identity and they're proud of it and, and boom. So, yeah, I'm proud of the two of you. You have your own sense of identity. <laughs> Thank you. And, and you, and you just never put it out there. We never fit in groups in high school at all. No, I would tried think to so. be us, they disappeared. <laughs> no. no, they didn't. They just transferred. They just went to other schools. That's what happened. They didn't like you. They had to transfer. No, no, they tried way. to be like us. <laughs> He wants you know attention. What's good for you. you are going to love, honor, and obey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Chucky, I'm telling you, Slappy's never going to be afraid of you. It's not going to happen. He's, he's like, just talking to the same effect. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what he's telling you, Gomez? Yes. He's like, I don't care how many people he kills, I'm never going to cower to this one. Nope. <laughs> You gotta admire that. That's brave to stand up in the face of a serial killer. You guys, if you haven't seen Child's Play, Chucky is a serial killer who was put into a doll via voodoo. Oh. He looks like my buddy doll from the 80s. You know the little doll that came out when Cabbage Patches did called My Buddy and Kid Sister? If you didn't Google it, My Buddy is a little cute red-haired doll. He looks like Chucky. Before Chucky got all scarred up. Wow. Well, you know what? This section is just about ready to come to an end. We hope and the dolls do not give you nightmares. Yeah, they and, do, and, it's not our and we're going to be back in our next segment, and we're going to talk about, well, reviews. And this time up, it is Frankenstein. What a classic film that is. It is just marvelous. You might say that it is oh, frightfully I mean, brilliant. <laughs> Yes, 
<laughs> we're going to uh, talk about, as, as we do, uh, always, and always, is this is the second time, so this is always. Always, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Frankenstein. And, and, um, the movie versus the book. Yeah. The novel by the great Mary Shelley. Yeah, you know, there's a, a movie coming out on her starring uh, Elle Fanning. Oh. She's going to be um, Shelley. Uh, it's, uh, Shelley. And uh, boy, she's, uh, Shelley was what in the uh, early 1800s? Mm -hmm. The book was written in 1818. Yeah, I mean, think about that for just two minutes. It was groundbreaking. <laughs> it was sci fi in its finest in the early 1800s. It was, uh, 1818. You know, if you think about it, who was even thinking about this stuff? Mary then? Shelley and her husband <laughs> Percy and their Jeez. friend Lord Byron, the Dark Louise. Princess. Yeah, amazing. So well, do you know a quick bit of trivia? What Dracula, Frankenstein, and Jekyll and Hyde have in common? No. What? Each of the authors had a dream before they wrote the book. Ooh, really? Yes. Wow. Kind of sounds Freddy Krueger esque, and I have a book about that that I'm working on. We Wasn't are. Mary Shelley part of a, a writing group or something? And well, they kind yeah, of were met. They were, to they bring were sitting back around uh, telling ghost stories. Yeah, that was it. Yeah, and they were to bring back the story. She had the dream, and yeah. she brought back this one. Mm -hmm. And it got turned. Now, um, here's something I did not know uh, until I got enlightened. <laughs> and <laughs> that was the first uh, picture of um, Frankenstein. Yes. But before we show you, before we show it, the, the, they're going to put it up on the screen here. Uh, we, I think we should watch the, um, so, so that you can get the, the comparison. Yeah, so watch the trailer first. 1931 film with Boris Karloff. Yeah, good old Boris, man. Yeah. And here it comes. It's alive! It's alive! It's alive! It's alive! It's alive. <laughs> <laughs> When this dead hand moves, the monster created by a man they called Mad is turned loose to strike terror into the hearts of men. <laughs> to shock women into uncontrolled hysteria. Elizabeth! <laughs> to prey upon the innocence of children. This is the story you've heard about, talked about. The spine-tingling, blood-chilling story that stuns your emotions. Frankenstein. Don't touch that! Ah, and there it is. Wow. Okay. Now, you've got to put that on your must-see list if you haven't seen it. See, what people don't understand is there's two things about Frankenstein that I have to announce that people do not understand that drive me crazy. First, the book is so much different than the movie and to me so much better because Frankenstein, they're always calling the creation Frankenstein. That's Carl yes. in the movie. No, the, the creator. The creator. Victor Frankenstein. He's a doctor in the movie, in the book, which is very different. He's just a medical student with an obsession for beating death. Yeah. And he was a little punk kid, and the movie makes him an older guy. So that's a big difference. But yeah. he, Frankenstein is the actual creator. He never gave his poor creature a name. Now, in the book, he is yeah. not a bumbling monster. He's very intelligent. In the book, Victor Frankenstein created this guy to be a superhuman, better human, the best human. So he made him eight feet tall, really smart, really powerful, fast, strong. And he doesn't look scary. I remember showing my no. mom. If you're watching, I love yeah. you, mommy. I showed my mom. This the is the book. They're showing the book. Yeah, now. I showed my mom this picture, and I said, "Mom, why didn't they use this in the movie? Why did they make the movie so different? It drives me crazy." And she goes, "Well, he's not scary." No. So he's a beautiful goth guy. Look yeah. at him. If I weren't married, I'd date him. Do we hey. have a close-up on that so we can see Adam <laughs> in in this? Uh, he in wasn't that really named Adam. There he is. Look at he, he looks like. Um, he looks like a fashion model. Yeah, he's beautiful. And muscles. I mean, yeah. look at those Long abs. Black hair. I mean, you know, the book describes him as having yellowish white skin, 
beautifully sculpted face, long black hair, black lips. You're thinking guys with the lift, the goth lipstick, right? Yeah. And the black nails. Yeah, yeah. So he was the original goth guy. Yeah, he was. That's what it's he was. Great. I mean, what a difference. Huh? And he was beautiful, yeah. just eight feet tall, but kind of willowy. Like, mm -hmm. let's imagine Gomez if he were eight feet tall. I wonder um, if you can go on Google dot books and yeah. download the uh, first edition. Yeah. With that in it. You just want to put first Wouldn't image of Frankenstein if you want to see it. It's yeah, beautiful. that would be and great to download. He was very intelligent, unlike the movie, and very well. And he learned like languages in two days, just like brilliant. And everybody would just run from him and scream. And then he got violent and angry because he didn't understand what was happening. His maker ran from him as soon as he got up and started moving. Yeah. Which yeah. I think Shelley intended Victor Frankenstein to be insane. Yeah. Because you're going to make him. Not the monster. No, the, the creator. Because the creator yeah. in the book, he makes him. He's looking at him laying there before he animates him. He's thinking he's beautiful. What a great job I did. All that. He animates him with lightning. He comes to life and Victor freaks out and runs. Because Frank is just starting to learn how to move. We call him Frank the creation because he was never given a name. <laughs> he's just learning how to move. He's making kind of baby sounds because he might be brilliant and he might need to learn how to talk, but he hasn't learned this yet. No, he hasn't. So he's kind of just moving, trying to move, trying to make little baby sounds. And I guess maybe Victor expected him to wait, open his eyes and start talking. Hello, master. Thank you for creating me. No, he might be brilliant, but he still has to learn to use what he's got. And the parts in the, in the movie, how they have Karloff stitched together with different body parts, an arm here, a leg there, that wasn't how the book describes it either. It's more like skin grafting the best parts. So he wasn't stitched so much. Wow. You know, we could talk about Frankenstein for an <laughs> awful long time. But we've got to move on. We've got creepy news coming up. And uh, every, t every uh, episode that you tune in on this show, there will always be reviews of objects and things. We'll always have a cute little fiction story to tell. And... Um, Reviews, like we, we're just doing like now. these guys. And then um, the, the, the creepy news. How would you characterize creepy news? The real true things that happen to us, like the incidents yeah. on this show that no one can explain where the electronics go wrong. Or like the else. last episode with the haunted TriCaster. Yes, yes. The or the board. Easter toy going off by itself that no longer sounds cute at 4 in the morning when it's yeah. like, you're hiding. Yeah. Not okay. Not okay. <laughs> And we're back with creepy news. Creepy news. Before I get into creepy news, I have to do this because everything has gone wonky here. I have to add to it. We were just talking about Frankenstein and how it's different than the books and the movies. And that has nothing to do with creepy news except that the bride of Frankenstein is in the book and the movie, but they were never a couple. Okay? And everybody puts them together as a couple on the... If you look oh, at yeah, Valentine, yeah, yeah, if you yeah. look at creepy Valentine's yeah, yeah, pictures, you'll yeah. see Bride and Frankenstein. In yeah. neither of the book or the movie did they get along as a couple. This uh, does not exist. Uh, this is not real. That was creepy. <laughs> but that's not really what we're going to talk about. That's a side note. <laughs> yes. Creepy news but is a good shared one. dream yeah. phenomena. So what do we got in the news? We should have shared dream phenomena. Oh, yeah, that's right. That is. Yes. Have you ever shared a dream with someone? Creepy. 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 Have you, you've done that. Yes, but you know what's more interesting when it happens when the dreams are shared over a period of time? Would you Whoa. have ever guessed that a dream that happened 5,000 years ago would be repeated in modern days, pretty much with the same details? Wow. We have dreams written down on Assyrian Babylonian temples, those given to the king Ashurbanipal, for example, and I see those on dream sites. I am a dream interpreter, by the way. That's my side hobby. I interpret Truly. dreams online. Yeah. yeah, he's really good, too. He teaches like you what you're selling yourself. Yeah. 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 <laughs> You studied from someone who studied from Young, didn't you? Really? Um, uh, yes, uh, I studied f with the former president of the hypnotherapy board of the United States, uh, Dr. Sally Sorney. Wow. So I'm a certified hypnotherapist. But um, other than that, I also learned psychological interpretation of dreams. And uh -huh. the more uh, you practice it, the more you get a feel for it, how the patterns work. But at any rate, what is interesting...